Hey guys, what's up? My name is David Nutting and I'm excited to share five ways to become more healthy. Now, all five of these things you could even start today. Number one, maintaining a healthy weight. That is one of the most important things we could do to prevent illness, disease, even enjoy a better, higher quality of life. We do that with good nutrition as well as with consistent exercise. Number two, make healthy food choices most of the time. So when you think of that, think of 80%, you're trying to make good, healthy choices and then allow yourself some freedom. Don't be so restricted to trying to follow a diet or trying to follow something that you could only do for a limited amount of time. That other 20% of the time, just be able to balance life, be able to go somewhere and you can enjoy some of those things. That way you're not so restricted that you're going to go back on what you didn't want to do. Now, here there's an expression or an adage, five is fine, this is in regards to fruits and vegetables, but nine is divine. So think of if you have one serving of a fruit and vegetable, think of half a cup. And so try to consume that every day. Five is fine, nine is divine, and it's going to make a big difference on your health. Number three, exercise most days of the week. The recommendation for this is five days only to do 30 minutes a day. So it's a collective 30 minutes. If you could even take a brisk walk at lunchtime, add something in later on in the day. Sometimes our schedules don't always fit to be able to get everything all locked in at 30 minutes, but it's all cumulative, so it's all gonna be able to add up. But 150 minutes of exercise through the week That's the magic number. It could be going out to kick a soccer ball with someone, be able to go for a walk, working out with weights, doing any type of stretching type movements, anything that you could do to add in, that will be 150 minutes through the week. Number four, drink more water. If you were able to drink half your body weight in ounces, you are hitting the gold standard and that is the goal. Our blood constitutes more than 90% water. So yes, it will help with your blood. It helps with blood pressure, helps with body temperature, it'll help to lubricate your joints, helps your skin, boost productivity, it flushes out the waste out of our bodies, helps digestive system. Uh, so many benefits, it can even help to reduce your fatigue. If you're feeling tired, try to start drinking more water regularly through the day. Helps kidney functions more smoothly, helps to boost your exercise. There's a lot of benefits I can go on and on, but start sipping water through the day. Number five is to reduce stress. Not only does stress affect our brain, which many research studies have shown that it can actually shrink your brain. Think of that. Stress can have an effect on your brain where you can't think as well. You don't think as clearly. Your memory and cognitive function diminish. Those are not good things. Along top of that, though, stress in the immune system. So there's been many studies on this. I'll just point one out. The prevailing attitude between the association of stress and immune system response has been that under stress, we are more likely to have an impaired immune system. And as a result, suffer more frequent illnesses. That was Kansari et al. back in 1990. Now think of if it's going to affect your brain and it's going to affect your body. Those are pretty big, significant things. Well, how do we combat stress? Look at a couple of the videos I'm going to include in the link below. But there are many different options and ways to be able to do it. Try to work on breathing techniques. Try to work on resting. Try to let your body and your mind rest. Don't think of the problem. Be able to think towards the solution and be able to move ahead, move forward. Don't let anything bury you. It's all going to be temporary. Even if it's a chronic illness, this life is so short that you want to be able to make the most and have that positive mental attitude, that PMA. Pray. If you meditate, try to be able to really draw into something that's deeper than what that situation is. Thanks for letting me share on these five ways to improve your health. You can start all five of those today and you will start feeling better. You'll have a better outlook on life, which is wonderful. Thanks for letting me share and please share this with someone else.